Hi, welcome to Z Gaiju Review. Welcome to 2021 and the first video for 2021. Let's do this. As I mentioned on my previous video, CES is right around the corner. It should be started in a few days from when you see this video. So there's going to be a lot of news coming your way about new technology being announced, technology that will be available later on in the year and things that might one day become reality. As is this transparent OLED screens from LG. Now, transparent OLED screens aren't brand new. They've been around, uh, we'll say for a year, year, yeah, we'll say a year or two, but they were mostly used for uh, retail. So the way LG was selling these screens was uh, at a store where you could put it in front of a product and we'll show you information about the product so you could see the product that it was advertising and things like that. But LG, of course, is moving into other ways to use this technology, which of course makes sense that was going to happen at some point. And one of the things that they are showing off is how you could use this screen at a restaurant to order food. And so they have this example at a sushi restaurant. So if you are a uh, patron in this example, you could watch, you could read the menu or uh, watch videos that, you know, the restaurant could give you while being able to watch your chef make some food. Now, of course, during these COVID times, this will be a great addition to use as a barrier between you and a waiter, or in this case, uh, uh, someone preparing you sushi, where you could be watching something or seeing something instead of just a transparent, clear barrier on this screen. That is something that makes sense. The screen that they're showing is 55 inches I will say it's a pretty good size to make it a barrier because it will be like up here. So you will be, you know, protected between you and somebody else behind it. And the other thing that they showed is use for the home. And a way that they envision you being able to use this in your home is something that they're calling the smart bed, which of course is going to cost probably six figures, kind of like their rollable OLED TV that came out last year. The way they are envisioning it is you will have a screen that will pop up um, in your bed so you could watch TV while you are still in bed. Of course, the screen is thin enough. As you know, OLED screens are very, very thin, so it could hide easily in the bed. My only concern with that, though, is if it's a clear TV and, and let's say you... I was going to say, let's pretend that you have a big bedroom with windows. But if you can afford a TV like this or a smart bed like this, most likely you do have the money for a gigantic bedroom with a lot of windows, maybe even a balcony. So my concern <laughs> with that concept is if you have a clear TV uh, from examples that I've seen of, of how strong the image is. I think if you had too much light coming behind that screen, that you wouldn't be able to see things as well as you could on a regular screen where you don't have light going through or you will be stuck with having your curtains drawn and watching it in the dark. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. I personally don't understand the concept of putting one of these screens on your bed. If you can squeeze a OLED screen, why not just do a regular OLED screen that will serve a better purpose than a clear screen? But you know what? That's uh, LG with their ambitions. Now the screen will have a technology that they're calling cinematic sound OLED or CSO, which means that there's speakers built into the body of the TV and you get the sound via vibration of the screen. This is a technology that Sony has in some other TVs right now. LG is using the same type of technology on these TVs to make them thinner, to make them being able to fit on this so-called smart bed and for you know to have to have extra speakers and things around to ruin, I guess, the look of your fabulous bedroom. Another example that they provide on their press photo here, as you can see, is uh, this lady touching what I'm assuming is a train window. So I guess embedding this 
clear screens on a train window so you can see outside and also interact with whatever the uh, train can offer. This looks like a map. I'm assuming points of interest or something. That's my assumption based on that image. Nonetheless, the technology looks pretty cool. Having a clear screen where you can see an image on one side and be able to see through that image has, I guess, some utility at home. I personally would have thought that uh, putting it on a window, kind of like they did on the screen, or maybe uh, embedded, being able to embed it in like uh, your uh, sliding door in your patio or something like that, would be great use. I don't know. I feel like it will be more useful to have it in one of those spaces where you could, especially if it, if it has um, smart capabilities, where you could ask for information and then information will be displayed on that screen wherever in the home you are. It's a great possibility to what a future could be. Sounds really, really cool. What do you think? Are you excited about a clear OLED screen? Do you think that it makes sense to have at home or do you think it should be something that stays within um, the business segment? Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.